Hello my beautiful people. Happy Friday. I hope everyone is doing well. Hope you had a good week. I hope you enjoyed the balloon smash, which I kind of sort of figured out. Um, it actually, I'm quite impressed. It might be a Mother's Day gift. I'm doing this before, so I know it's not Mother's Day's past, but so she won't know. Might be a Mother's Day gift. <laughs> I hope you had a wonderful Mother's Day as well. I forgot to mention it in my video, which is bad because I've been pre-recording everything and not realizing that it was Mother's Day when I was putting it up. So I hope everyone had a wonderful Mother's Day. So I just want to get this out first because I was so excited. Um, I came back from having some therapy done on my arm and I had a box at the door and I thought it was from Laura's art corner because I'm expecting a parcel and I was so in the fence I'm like oh no it's not so I'm opening it up and this is a little better than Laura's, Laura's art corner with glitter because um I want to cry this is from um Janice Jam this amazing card I'm not sure if you made it but I think you did and are you ready? Because I hate to do this because these are my beautiful peoples, my lovely kids and my husband. I may have to replace my mug. She made me a mug. OMG. Look at this. With that being said, and of course a crown, and then on the back it says, hello my beautiful people. Oh my God. So this might be the new mug. Thank you. I appreciate that so, so much. That is so beautiful. Thank you. And it's my size. It's huge. This is the one I drink out of every day. <laughs> it's, it's huge. So I just want to say thank you. Came all the way from Arizona. I'm excited. So I will be using that. Thank you very much, Jan. And yeah. So with that being said, get the good stuff. Um, I wanted to show you. I've been organizing. Now, is that not... A better way to see your paint because this I still have lots to put in there this is how I had to choose colors all you can see is blue and so I'm gonna organize them I figured I put the artist loft in one the liquid text base in another and I really don't have any of my Peblio studios <laughs> there's a lot there but these are what I bought they're in the Amazon store but you know what someone pointed out to me that the dollar store does have them but because of what's going on right now, you, I couldn't get into the dollar store to buy them. But this is what I was purchasing. It's just an over-the-door um, shoe organizer. And it comes with the hooks, so you can do it. It also would be cute. I have a bookshelf here, and it would be cute to have there or even on the wall. But for me right now, I'm going to put it here. I might not like it because I like hanging my paintings on there. So... But we'll see how that goes. And yeah, so today we are doing resin. And we're going to play around again with some more of um, the crystal resin pigments that I got. So we're going to play with those. And we're going to do some pop sockets. So my daughter, I'm going to make her a couple. And she requested a couple colors. So we're going to play with her colors. And then we're going to play with mom's colors. And um, someone pointed out, and I looked on yesterday, and I was so upset. There's, because once you buy one, then you look back, and there's like always, always, always something that's better. There's a link that, I got them off of Amazon. These were $18 or $19. It come with the one mold and 20 of the sockets. And there's now one where you can get two molds and the sockets. So... But it's 23 bucks. So it's if you're multi, if you're mass producing, then that's a good idea. But me, I'm not going to be making more than this. Because there's no craft sales to be had. So anyway, so with that being said, my amazing people, I'm going to um, put you on pause. I'm going to mix up my resin. And we're going to go through this every time. When I'm mixing my resin, I do use my respirator. I always have a Dyson air purifier going on and 
please, please use your help, PPE for anything that you're using, gloves, masks. But when I come back, I'm choosing not to wear this so I can chit chat with you. And with that being said, I gotta find the button first. I'll be right back. Hello, we are back. I've got my resin mixed up and it is quite funny because these are the colors my daughter picked out. She wants them. Her phone, her iPhone is the mint green one. So she wanted this emerald green. She wanted the red brown. She's not like her mom. She likes the browns and the golds and the bronze. So I thought I would mix up my own colors. I thought I would try um, the coffee, the jewelry blue, the pearl gold, and I thought I would do the pearl white. And we would do, you know, compare which ones she likes and which ones she don't. And I'm going to throw some of Laura's art glitter. This one is the gold dust. But when I measured, I always measure my molds just to see roughly how much. It didn't even take two of these one ounce cups. So I'm like, why well, ain't mixing all of that up for that? So we're going to do Kimberly's colors. I'm going to throw a white in there and the Laura's art glitter. So we're going to mix them those ones up so I've got these little ones out we're just gonna pour a little bit in each and we'll mix some up I don't want to fill it to the top because when I mix I will make a mess so we'll do these four colors and the glitter and we'll just see where we go from there I've never made them before. Not sure if I should put my pop socket in it while it's hot. Well, it's hot. Well, it's not cured yet. So what I'm thinking is I got to turn my fan off because it's blowing the resin. Um, what I'm thinking is I may come down and pop these in after. Alrighty, so let's get some mixing going on. So I want... We'll do her colors first. And actually, I was going to use the spoons, but I'm just going to do the stir sticks, which I'm trying to get rid of. But with these being so small, I need to get something smaller. I don't want to use a lot. So there's that. Let's mix it up, see what happens. And I'm going to um, try and paint the edging. Oh, there you go. That's good. So we're going to that. Ooh. Let's see if we can get it without it. There we go. Now, so that's the, the emerald green. I'm going to put it over here so I know which ones I'm using. We're going to do the red brown. That does look beautiful. Almost looks like a copper. Oh, that is beautiful. That is a copper-ish. So I tried to mix up. I love my, my, I can't speak today. I'm stuttering. I love these um, mixing cups, but it doesn't give you much of a, like to do three ounces, it's kind of hard. So I did... I mixed up the 50, I went down one below and one below the 100, so. And too funny, my husband bought me a, a temp gun so I can test the resin because the resin should be about 70 degrees. They say, what, 28 Celsius. So I had it on the Celsius. So sitting upstairs, it was at 22, so I had to warm it up a little bit. So this is the bronze. And 
And the only difference is, I think it, well, it does shorten your curing time, right? Your um, playing around time. Because this says, oh, that is gorgeous. This says it, um, you have about 30 to 40 minutes of working time at that temperature. So when I, my issue is I put it up in my sink and too funny, I come down with my gun to try it the first time. And I know I'm mixing measurements, guys. So this one is Fahrenheit. I hit it and it was supposed to be at 70. It was a little, or 75, a little bit below. And I put it in my bath and I brought it down. It was 103. So that's why it cures so quick when I'm doing my, my blooms. Isn't that one gorgeous? That's the brown, bronze. So those are her three colors. Now, Mama's throwing in this white because I think it needs something else, but I'll do hers. I'll do one with just her three colors. <clears throat> and then I'll do the rest with uh, some of this pearl white in there. It would be pretty. So I'm excited. I'm going to make another version of the poppies for my husband. Because I think that one turned out so beautifully. And um, I'm going to do it with sunflowers. So I'm so excited about the yellow that I got from here. Because I've never had a yellow pigment. So I thought that was cool. And last but not least, we saved the best for last, Miss Laura. I'm going to do a big old scoop because we want it to be a lot of glitter. And there we go. Like, is that not gorgeous? All her glitter is gorgeous. I should be getting my shipment soon, I hope. All right. I may have put too much glitter for that little bit amount. Oh. What do they say? You can never have enough glitter. So what I'm going to do on the geoid ones, I'm going to get my brush and I'm going to paint on. See? I've got one ounce left still, so we're gonna see. I'm gonna paint, which one? I think I might paint the bronze on the edge of this. And let's find my little brush. All right, I'm just using my, this is probably 20 some years old. All right, I'm just taking some of my mica powder that's in here. I do not want to make a mess. Pick it up and I'm just gonna try and paint the edge. Hopefully it brushes out. I don't think it would much matter, but I don't know if you're seeing me or not, but it's actually what I might do is just put a little bit in this spoon and it'll be easier for me. So if you don't want to watch this part, you may fast forward, but with all of my videos, you get everything.
because I want you to learn. I find you miss a lot when people fast forward things and they say they're doing this and because I don't get some of it sometimes. So I'm doing it because I would prefer it the way that I'm doing it. So. I'm so funny. I'm lucky. I don't get very many nasty comments or rude comments or anything. But the other day, oh my goodness, I have to laugh because someone told me I did beautiful art, but I talk too much and I should, that stuff is for a dating app. And I'm like, what are you talking about? A dating app. I thought it was quite humorous one of those thanks for watching I think <laughs> oh, too funny eh there we go I try and wipe it out of the the heart because it's gonna be on the top right oh you are kidding I got you zoomed in a little bit so you could get a little closer. This is very, I'm doing a messy job. Can be done neater, guys. <laughs> Let's pick up some here. But you're not making art if you're not messy, right? At least that's my thoughts. At the end of the video, I'll show you I organize my paints. I'll show you what they look like because I think it's cool. All right, so that's that. Let's get this back in here so I'm not wasting any of that. Ooh. Actually, I'll leave the spoon in there. I'm going to grab a wet one because I'm going to try and wipe out the center of that. And I want to wipe this off because I put it right in the resin. Wouldn't be oh good to have it sticking. Oh my goodness, Sherry. It wasn't completely closed. Welcome to my channel where I make a mess. It wouldn't be my channel without a mess, right? I'm just gonna wipe off. <laughs> Alright. Maybe I'll just take a paper towel and see if I can get that out of the centers of this. Nope, that made more of a mess. It'll have to be a wet one. There we go. And then I'll dry it. I'm going to leave it in that one. I don't want to ruin what I have there. All right, give it a dry and then we're going to start playing guys. After all that, there we go. I don't even know about the heart. It's huge. Like this is the one I have on my cell phone. Like that's huge. And actually these are kind of huge. So we're going to see. All right. Give it one more little stir on all of these. And, oh, that was an almost. I brought out my little bear, because what I don't use, I'm going to put in the bear. All right. And I 
glitter. Alrighty. Here we go, guys. Let's do... If I can get my fingers to work. So this one will be Kim's colors, and I'm just going to go over to a swirl. Now, let's try one a little bit of white in the middle. Bronze is beautiful, or that red. Woo! And let's throw glitter in the middle of this one. one. I shall have three options to choose from. All right. Let's just play around with the rest. and use my finger. There we go. We're just going to stripe the rest. Not even sure if these will turn out, but I'm going to try and top up these ones just because these are the ones that she's choosing from. Because I want them to be full. Don't want to lose that glitter. Mind you, the glitter will be on the front side. That is awesome. So that is basically for these little guys and it did all that. That's crazy. Being that let's a little bit of glitter. I'm going to add it to this one. And It might not even show up because this is all the backside. All right. Not too bad, guys. I might put a little more in this one. Oh, is it the right color? No. I'll go over here. Yeah. 
that's that. I'm going to get my um, alcohol, my 90, 99, where is it, percent alcohol. I'll give these a little bit of a, a squirt to get, let me get these out of here because I don't want to squirt those. Oh my goodness. So, do I swirl, swirl, and swirl? Let's see what we got going on. Oh, I don't want to. Maybe I'll swirl these. Oh my goodness. As I'm about to go, and we're going to swirl, my battery died. <laughs> so, I'm just going to do this on the ones that. are not her main one and see what we get going. Actually, I do like the ones with just her three colors. <laughs> Let me swirl one of them. We'll swirl this one. And remember, don't go all the way that you're going to hit your, the bottom of your um, mold. I'm just gonna. There. Just give it some interest as opposed to just being plain, right? Do another squirt. And I have, this is hilarious, an ounce and a half. So let me dry the center thing out and I will mix up a little bit more. And let's try a different color. I want to try that blue. We'll just do the blue and I'll do a little bit more of the white. Or actually... What do we got in here? Yeah, we'll do the blue and the white. Yeah, let's just wipe that out. And I put my finger in that one. There we go. And we're going to pour a little bit more in here. We're going to mix white up. And grab another little guy and we will mix up some blue. You know what? I'm just going to... Do three colors and then that way I use up the rest of this. And then what I don't use, I will put in my beer. And again, love these sticks. I'm just going to wipe it off right now. I haven't left it with resin on it to cure, so I want to make sure I keep them nice because they're nice and sturdy. I like that. All right. There we go. All cleaned up for the next time. And what was I going to do? The white. We'll put a little bit more of the white in there. Clean stick. You never want to put old stuff into um, clean. All right. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to mix that red because that was beautiful. And we'll do that with the blue. All right. Two more stir sticks. I don't want to lock. 
because I don't want to waste this. Oh my goodness. And you have to take a look because I haven't looked yet, but apparently I was talking to them at Crystal Resin and asking about the stir sticks because a lot of people were asking and I think they're on their website. So I'm going to double check when I'm done here and I will clarify that. And some of that beautiful jewelry blue. I'm a blue girl, so, well, as you can tell with my hair. <laughs> All right, let's mix her up, guys, because it's getting close. Oh, my. Look at that. That's beautiful. All right. We already know these two are beautiful, so we're going to this quick so beautiful uh, there we go and I think we'll do the white in the middle again It's pretty. It's starting to get thick, so I gotta move quicker, guys. Woo! Do white right in the middle. Blue on the side. Oh, I'm so. I feel so. I'm just gonna make sure I don't get it in the other ones. Because you never know with Sherry. Oh, that's pretty. All right, I'm just going to pour these in, in my bear. Let's do the red first. Red brown. I'm hoping you're catching me here. Then we will do the blue. Let's do the blue and the brick together. I think that would be pretty. I'm just gonna scrape it all out. It's getting sticky. And then the white. So this won't be done, guys, so don't expect me to pop him out at the end because he's not full. So when he's full, I'll pop him out of the next video. Like, that's just all pasty. So there we go. I'm going to, where to put it? I had a little guy. Let's swirl this. Might come back more and try and do that. That's pretty with the blue in it. There. Alrighty. Another shot of alcohol. And we will let it be. I'm going to take a picture to show my daughter. And I'm just going to take my gloves off just because I want to get into this bag. Now, I'm not sure what to do, whether to do it right now. Do you do it now or do you do it when it's a little bit more? Or I can glue it on. Big decisions, my friends. I think I'm going to wait till it's cured a little bit and then I'll come back down and we'll see. 
I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm excited. Hello, I've come down and thought I would place a couple in. It's kind of, it's tacky. Like when you touch it, it's sticky. You can see on the side here on my stuff here. So I'm gonna put one here and one of, because my daughter wanted gray. So I'm gonna try and center. The only thing is you gotta make sure it's right the first time because you can't move it around. You gotta make sure it's centered. You can jimmy it a little bit maybe. There we go. So I'm gonna see what they do. And yeah, we'll be back in a tomorrow when I pop them out. See you guys in a bit. Hello, we are back. I left my mess all out, sorry guys. But I, like I did it, I showed you I put two in, so I'm excited. And this is actually, I did them quite early in the morning and right now it's late afternoon, it's almost five o'clock. So it's probably been about seven or eight hours and they're actually pretty good. Pop them all out. All right, we're gonna see the first one. This is the one that she, the colors that Kimberly picked. So it looks nice, it's got the edging. And then this is the color that she wanted. Actually, that's not bad. It's kind of hard I, because you don't know what it's going to look like on the other side. This side might look pretty, so it depends on what you want to do about the pop socket part, whether you want to put it on after or before. This is mommy's colors. This is mama's colors. Actually, that's not, excuse me, that's not too bad. And again, it's got that bronzy on the edges. Very cool. Now they're still a little soft, so I would push them, make sure they're lay flat. This is the, the, the emerald green and yeah, the gold, the glitter took right over on that side. So again, you might want to do it that side. It's whatever you could do a, um, just a thin coat on the top so that there's not that little bit of a lip and yeah pretty sweet and this one I think would be oh it did take a little bit it's kind of cool that's why I was trying to swirl it and oh that's not bad there you go I keep not realizing where you are guys sorry I do like the idea with the um, the edging that turned out nice and this is the other one I thought that she might want oh yeah it's okay now the only other thing is too I was thinking I could have blown some heat in there to move it around but I didn't want to ruin the mold my first time using it and the heart it's big like I don't have my phone down here but it's big <laughs> like even the box is the size of a cell phone it's big, like look at that. So, but it is, you can put a hole in that and you could make a wind chime out of it. You could do a whole bunch of different things. It doesn't have to be um, a pop socket. Is that, oh my bear, but he's only half, see guys? So I'll have to do some more resin before I fill him up. So I guess it's not really that much bigger I guess it is. <laughs> oh no, wrong way, wrong thing to do. All right, so I'm gonna give her the option. So these are the two I was thinking, if she wants. This one's pretty too, actually. I thought maybe I can give her all three. Well, there you go, my beautiful people. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I love that, that's a good idea, and again, Take a look, because there was the other one that had two. And it's so economically good as well if you're looking into selling them, because it two ounces. And I did not use the whole two ounce. I mixed up three ounces, right? So that's kind of crazy. So anyways, with that being said, um, if you have new to the channel and have not yet subscribed, 
please do. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you um, hit the bell for notifications, and in my description box, I have my Facebook page, I have my Amazon shops, I have the link to uh, the crystal resin, which is what I use today. Um, my pigments, my resin, it's all crystal resin. And also there's the link to the wonderful, the beautiful, the amazing Laura's Art Corner, my glitters. Um, don't forget to use my discount code, which is all couple letters, Sherry Moulton 10%, and you'll get 10% off your whole order. And I also have my PayPal link if you would like to donate to some glitter. So with that being said, I hope you have an amazing Friday and I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.